Hello and welcome to my summer car. Um, I watched a few videos and decided to play it. And I wasn't gonna make any videos, but I had some trouble building my car. And my first time got it completely done, built to where it is now. Except I had the uh, the lower quality stuff. I didn't buy anything for it other than fluids. But um, anyways, got it completely built, and I just couldn't get it to run or anything. So I looked it up on Google. Couldn't find anything that really helped. So I'm making this video to hopefully help people that can't figure it out. So what I did, as you can see, I used a console command to make myself invulnerable and to get money. For that, to be invulnerable, you type in this, K-E-K-E, uh, -E, then press enter. And for money, you type in poor, oops, and then the money you want. And now my guy's going to the bathroom everywhere. Anyways, ignoring that. So once I got this done, or sorry, when I started this playthrough, what I did was go to the bedroom, I'll uh, show right now, and here, you go to the bedroom, and you order the parts you want, so that's what I did, except for the wheels didn't show up for some reason, so I'm going to buy them again. And you go through all this, make sure you get this. At least get this. It helped a lot. And then what you want to do is take your envelope. Put it in the van. I'm going to put it in the car instead, since that's what I'm driving now. But you take your envelope, put it in the van. Take the green army jerry can. Put it in the van, and then you go to the store, put the envelope in the mailbox at the store, and then you want to fill your van and the jerry can full of fuel. This might be full. Every time I've played, it's had a different amount, so I just uh, fill it to make sure. And then you come back. And don't unplug your phone right away. When you come back, you then want, well, or what I did, is I used the uh, little floor jack, wherever I put it, right here. And I just lifted up the front of the car and put the subframe on it and whatnot. And all the suspension. And then I did the rear. And then once all the suspension's done, I put the interior in. And basically everything I could put in that didn't have to do with the engine or going under the car. And then once you get the call for the shipment arriving, you hop back in your van, go to the store, you go inside and pay the, the bill thing, shove it all in the van, take it back, and that's when I built the engine and put it all together. And then I noticed that it wouldn't start for me. Like, I could turn the key and it would turn over, but then as long as I, like, once I, um, release the key, it would just shut off. So, one thing I noticed is, uh, this have a screwdriver? Yes. If you're using the, uh, the parts that are on the shelf, you go to the carburetor, right here, the screw that's lit up, oops, that's the wall. The screw that's lit up. That adjusts your air and fuel mixture. Um, on the twin carb, it is right there. So what I did is I would try and turn it over, and then your air fuel ratio thing will show a number. So what I did is I got it to say 12.7. And how I did that was I highlighted the screw with the screwdriver and just rolled my mouse wheel up, which tightened it, I think. Or loosened it, one of the two. I think it tightened it. But anyways. And then got this to say 
and that's when my car would turn on and idle. And now it's not working again. Uh, doo -doo -doo. idling, I'm going to check the, uh, the drive train to see if it is all done right, because the last time I did this, I backed it out of the driveway, the half shaft for the right side was laying here, and then out there was the car with the engine on the ground. And another thing, with the exhaust, when you put it in, the screw for the muffler. Come on. Is right here behind the bumper. On this little bracket thing. And then for the exhaust pipe, you can get to it from the bottom. And it is right there. And then just the other two go up to the manifold header or whatever. So uh looks all good, all the screws are in, the bolts, it's not leaking, I already checked if any fluids are leaking. So uh, now I am going to see if I can get it out of the driveway, or out of the garage, and to the um, repair shop to see what that does. So I haven't gotten that far yet, so I'm going to pull my wheel on, because I'm driving with my wheel. And uh, see if this works. So, I can break off, reverse, and it's working. And I stalled. Ah, oh, come on. Why? Oh, crap. I also saved just before I put it out, just in case something bad does happen. But, uh... Let it idle here for a second. The, uh, fuel aeration is going up a little bit. And I just want to make sure nothing, like, fell out. Uh, Seems okay. Sell the screwdriver. And I'm bringing the toolkit and the lift or jack just in case. So uh, let's try and um, get to the shop. So um, where I'm going is where you can get the muscle car. And if you haven't found it yet, now you'll know. But, um, yeah. I think that's where you go to get this, like, repaired and stuff once you're done. So let's go. I'm just gonna take it easy so I don't have to brakes.
Oh, yeah. This is why you bring your toolkit. This thing is what engages and disengages the clutch. So clearly there is something wrong with that. So, uh, she's gonna come down here and throw that in. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, ooh, awesome. Grab the right one for a cent. Let's put this back in. You see, as I said, this adjusts the clutch. Which, in real life, if this fell out, it wouldn't just rev like that. The clutch would be stuck engaged. Which would be even worse, but yeah. I just hope that didn't make me run out of fluid. I should have brought some fluids with me. But, uh, let's try this again. Driving mode. Neutral. That looked good. Clutch in and start. Okay, can break off. Heavy gear. And off we go. Matches my tucking. That seems to be good. Okay. Loud when it needs to. Okay. Do, do, do. I'm going to move my seating position as my car starts rolling. So I can actually see the gauges. Okay. So this way is to the shop, I think, is the right one. And I can't see what it is. There we go. Wow, that line is horrible. Let me just this on. Down. You don't want to 
want to rev it too high and blow it up. But if you bog it down too much, it'll die and it's still not good. So. Okay, so here I think you go left. I forgot about this. Yeah, let's try going left. And I'm actually going to do this in two parts because it's a little long. So, uh, I'm just gonna pull over here and shut off the car. And. We'll be back in a second.